All right, so this is a this is my account overview for Fire Emblem Heroes. Um, this account's three years old. I don't. Maybe I should have checked this before, but like I don't really know how to see when you first uh, started playing or, or whatnot, just to see like to verify how long I've been playing. But yeah, so this is my account. Let's go take a look at some stuff here. So Arena, I am tier 18, the highest. Last arena was pretty bad, it dropped me down to 18. Um, I can make it to 20, sometimes I can hang out in 20, um, but usually I'm 19 or 20. I don't know why last week was just so bad and I went down to 18. But as you can see here, uh, rank 581, so I'll easily get back into into 19. Getting into 19 is not that hard. Um, getting into 20 is a pain in the ass, and then staying in 20 is equally as a pain in the ass. But I usually hang around 19 and 20. Uh, I can't really make it to AR 21 just because like I don't have any like and we'll see as we go through my units But I don't really have any like arena invested units because it's not a mode I really care too much about if you want to be optimal at everything, you know, obviously you want to make stuff You know for everything, but yeah, I, I really don't I, I just don't care um, It's it's too like Like it just forces you to invest in units that you don't really care about and then it constantly forces you to pull on unit banners and like make sure you have the newest toys so you can score well enough it's just an irritation all the way around it's not something i i value very much i mean obviously you can make it through like you know see do i, I have her this i had her so she was very useful this time around um but then you know next one comes and it's like you don't you know what units are there uh, but yeah i don't really yeah like i said i don't invest in this game mode it's not it, it's just it's too pay to win almost literally just merges on units equal literal you know score and that's not something i i really want to support too much um so there there's that uh, i don't know okay so this you guys can I don't, some of you can, can look at this and tell me how good i am at this i, I just do this one time like every week once and and that's it just to get the like rewards i i do not play this mode at all like i, I do not i cannot give a crap like just don't care um so yeah like i said I come in here and do this mode once and leave, and I just, you know, the bare minimum. So I don't, I don't know what any of this stuff means. You guys can tell me. Every time I do this, it tells me synergy increased. I don't know what that means. Um, I don't know what this number means. I don't know what, like, yeah, I don't know what any of this stuff means. So I, I just don't care, honestly, about this mode. Uh, Aether Arena Assault. Like I said, I just don't like this game mode in, in general. So I just come in here, do my three. I do three in a row and then leave. I don't really care about going to seven just because it's not really worth my time. Uh, but doing three in a row and leave just because it's what um, like some of the challenges ask you to do. Uh, there's no ranking here, I guess, so it doesn't really. But I thought I'd just mention that. I just I don't like any everything in, in the Coliseum is just a waste of my time. Like it's just something I have to do, and I really don't care to do it. Um, is there anything in here I need? No, there's nothing in here. Uh, I guess if you saw the summoning video, which should be out around the same time. Uh, Account setting. Where is it? Frequently asked questions. Customer support. Orbs. Um, all my orbs are free to play, and it's not because like I would pay money to to this game for stuff. I mean, like you can see here some of the well, not these packs. I don't have this pack, and but like the the Burger King pack, the 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 Black Knight pack. I bought that, right? Like I bought I've bought a few packs here and there. I'm not against supporting the game monetarily or spending money on the game for stuff. Like, I mean, I might buy this, but I just like not too worth it um like i don't mind spending money on games gotcha games there are some people who are like you know aggressively like oh, i won't pay for anything like don't ever pay for nothing um and I, I don't really mind it's just that this game is such a ripoff like holy shit let's take a look at this over here 143 orbs for 75 dollars 75 of my dollars gets me 143 orbs it's like half of what i have now i could get 173 orbs in like a couple weeks well, okay, that's not that's exaggerating. Um, maybe like a month but Yeah, like I can get orbs easier than like what I pay for them like I, these prices are just ridiculous Maybe for like 300 orbs for 75 that'd be like Closer to something I'd be okay with but one for 143. It's no I never buy orbs at all. I Wish there was like an easy way to just look at the stuff you bought Oh, I can go to my like play store receipt and whatnot and and see stuff like that But that's mixed in with a bunch of other games and I, ugh, I don't feel like editing out all the different stuff that it would take to get through that so uh, But yeah, let's go see uh, story maps 
That doesn't really matter. Training tower. Okay, so I guess just this. Uh, tier 24 right now, doing pretty well. Uh, defense. Uh, I want to start uploading videos of like, uh, like just playing Aether Rays. This is the mode I, I really do care about. Like, as long as I'm tier 27 here and I'm working towards tier 27 here, I'm this. This is what the game revolves around for me. Like, units I invest, orbs I get, everything goes around making this, um, making this better. Um, pretty decent success rate so far. I mean, I've only lost 54 Aether all season, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, so tier 23, I've, like I said, I've made it, uh, you can't look at your past stuff, I guess I can see, current standing, defense results, yeah, current standing. Tier 24, on my way up to tier 20, tier 27, shouldn't be too hard. Um, with Mirabilis out, some people might be changing their, um, Aether Raid setups mid-season, I don't know. Um, but I do predict she'll make this excessively more difficult. Um, so this is my team, it's not... This team has been locked in for a while. Um, it's not very. We'll, we'll talk about the. We'll come back to this like team setup and whatnot later. But yeah, that's just what I, I run flyer balls on defense and offense just because I'm unoriginal. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Flyer balls are my favorite. I just like them. They have all my favorite units. Um, so yeah, basically, ranking aside, I guess it's the only other thing to look at is. <laughs> Um, unit investments and see where I am. Uh, this, I usually get all these. Uh, I have 600 here so I can get both of these if I want them or whatever I want from here. Um, these red pages or whatever, they're usually so worthless. Like, obviously it's nice to have them. Like, oh look, I can get uh, a book of these and if they have units. But they never put units in here that are like worth pulling them for. It's always like, oh, look, he's got this skill, which I can get on someone else anyway. It's like, I don't know. But yeah, these red codes are not very, like, they're just worthless to me. Like, I'll, pull, I'll, I'll just summon, I'll just, like, use them up just because obviously they go away, but, like, you know, whatever. Uh, I haven't pulled any of these other than this one because I needed her uh, flyer formation off of her, and I didn't want to... I could pull, I could spend 100 grails and, like, pull Minerva or... Well, that's basically it who has flyer formation from there. Um, but I didn't want to do that. I was just like, I'll just spend 400 of these. I'm gonna... Eventually I want to get this Fury 4. Uh, it's pretty cool because you can inherit this axe. So you need the Faceful Axe and Faceful Axe Plus. That's two skills. Fury 4 is one skill. You can inherit Fury 1, 2, and 3 from someone else. And you can inherit Aether all in one unit. So basically, you know, bang for buck he's gonna be your guy um i haven't the only other thing i need is i need a summer xander i haven't pulled them yet just because i'm waiting to see if i pull them naturally but like i need summer xander for a close counter and i need where is he, this for a special spiral um but yeah other than that that's all i need from here so basically just need this this and this uh, I mean, I guess we all got a free disencounter a while ago, so this path isn't really useful. Um, but yeah, I mean, those are the only things I want from here. But normal right now, I guess I'm just sort of saving these in case they add something later. Um, if you've seen Acris, I mean, he, he recommends the same thing. Basically, my suggestion is go check out his channel if you're looking for like skill stuff. I'm just kind of here playing the game. Um, I did learn, I have learned a lot from him, but I, I don't really, yeah, I don't know. So I just suggest go go look at him if you're looking to learn how to play, looking uh, learn how to get better, you know, improving at the game. He'll he'll got you, he'll have you covered in most of that stuff. But you know, if you're just here for like for, for whatever reason, then here's here we are. Uh, let's go look at my barracks. Uh, what would be the best way to look at this? Uh, learn skills. Manage barracks. Yeah, sorry, I don't know. What to, let's see. Oh, we'll just go here right now. Uh, let's change this back to rarity. So this is how I usually have it organized. Um, I never really have a problem finding my units. Ah, I don't like these X's everywhere. Let's just, just go here. Okay, there we go. Uh, these are the I was grinding out the um, the friendship whatever thing to get orbs and the the blue tickets. So this is the team I was using just because 
These, these are always in need of more SP because I don't use them at all. 1500. Uh, 19 something. And, and as I just walk through all of them, you can see they're all poorly invested. I don't really spend too much on them. Um, even though you should, just because early on when you're going up to tiers of arena, it's good to just have them because they're always one of one of these three will always be on the uh, the rotation. Uh, once you like at tier 20 and you know even 19, 19, 20, and 21, like they won't help you just because you need not only do you need to have bonus units, but you need to have them all merged to to score high enough. So I mean, they might. I don't know. Like I said, I've. I've never actually hit tier 21 and I really don't care to so I mean for all I know you could have a decently invested in like Anna or, or one of these three or all three of them and make it to tier 21 and, and have them be useful but I, I just don't really care um, fire units I'll come back to Norn in a little bit fire units I mean look at this I, I pulled Marth don't really care about him though uh, I'd have to give him a distant counter and I don't really care considering I have Roy at plus two who has this encounter? They're basically the same. Uh, very high speed. Roy, uh, Marth obviously has his special whatever uh, thing down here. Uh, I just don't really care. I mean, Roy is my boy. So, in terms of red, red, uh, red sword units, I mean, why invest in Marth when I got Roy? Uh, this was like an early. I actually five star this on myself. I remember that. Uh, and these are a lot of these are just pulled like I just pulled her pulled her I pulled him when I was pulling for um, Pala young Pala uh, If you're gonna plus 10 a red sword either him or Itsuki Obviously his banner is gone. So it's kind of like not really an option But yeah, if he was here, you probably wanted to plus 10 him at that point um, But I didn't really care just because like I said I for one, I don't have orbs to like spend on like oh let me plus 10 this arena unit like I like I said I don't give a crap like don't play arena so whatever uh give her a plus one I'd actually I had one five star Lin already of this kind and then I got the second one from the resplendent hero thing and I just merged them together just because why not um don't really yeah just kind of whatever I got him obviously this is my plus 10 Roy uh it's funny because you can always tell like earlier units because he's got like all kinds of stuff inherited like look at all this All of this. I just gave it all that I just you know, whatever worked whatever I thought worked. This is all just experimentation during at the time um, But yeah, so this is kind of what I settled on uh, Quick repost here plus four. It's pretty good makes him pretty tanky um, Aether obviously gives him more survivability uh, reposition just because it's the most useful one, but you want to I there you go. This is how bad I am with arena You want to give them like a rally plus skill um, Just because it gives you more SP and you can score higher, but like I said like I'll use them just for the bare minimum uh, Disencounter just have them fight against everybody. Um, I haven't actually plus 10 flowered him just because I need the flowers for basically every other unit um, But I mean I give him seven I give him as far as I could but yeah uh, special spiral three I, uh, I should have saved it, but I give it to him anyway, just because why not? Um, it just reduces this. It's not very useful because I only use him in Arena, and in Arena, um, he you, you don't you don't he doesn't do enough for Special Power to kick in. Like you kill one unit, Special Spiral. You, you have to kill basically two units or fight two units at least to get the Aether off, and then the Special Spiral comes in. It only reduces it by two. You still have a three charge Aether, which it's like by that point you've already killed half the team, and he's probably hasn't done very much. So, yeah, special spiral is not a very good choice on him for uh, Aether or uh, Arena, but you know whatever. Like I said, I just kind of like was new at the game, and I started giving you know my favorite character whatever I could. Um, let's see, attack smoke, just because it'll help him survive a little easier uh, in groups of enemies. I also use them in those um, like forts. Where there's like 30 units on the screen or something like that, whatever those are, I, I always forget what they are. Um, but I use them in there too. Uh, that's where Special Spiral kicks in pretty well. He he just sort of kills everybody. Um, and speed. So uh, ideally, you probably want to give him something other than this. But like this helps him so that when he goes under 80, this triggers and he gets higher speed. Um, and then, you know, if he's under 50, he has a chance to just like avoid getting doubled. Basically, is the idea behind that. Uh, he can double back at less than 50, but once you go down below 80, he'll it'll be harder to double him, which is that was the point of that. 
Um, plus my brazen defense and res, which you probably want to use one of those two, are on someone else. And this is the only one I had free, so I was just like, ah, whatever, I'll just give him that. Um, but yeah, so this is, you know, probably the, one of the bigger mistakes in terms of uh, emerging. Uh, I, I got this, I got like, there was a banner that had him and Altina on it, and I pulled like three of him and like w only one Altina, which pissed me off to no end. Um, so yeah, I have a plus five Ike, even though I don't use him for anything, just because he he basically fulfills the same purpose as my Roy, and he probably does it better just because he's got this, um, and you know, this at a four charge. But I don't really, you know, like I said, I don't really care about him. Uh, in terms of five star uh, plus ten projects, this is what you want right here, because he was limited to that banner, uh, you know. I don't know if you can pull him anymore. I'm not entirely sure, but in terms of if you want a if you want a plus ten a red sword unit, you want this one. Um, yeah, like for arena scoring, I think he's at like I don't know 170 something. I don't remember, but yeah, like he's gonna be your main guy. He's also, I mean, look at this. Like at a base level, without barely any investment, no flowers, no plus ten, nothing. He's got 53 attack, two less. Six more defense, one less res, and six, uh, well, he's losing speed, but neither of them are doubling, so the speed doesn't really matter. You can min-max that away. Well, basically, he's already a match for regular Roy at plus 10 while being this. Uh, their Splendid Alt is going to give him more stats, which, you know, it'll make it, I guess, cooler. I don't really, like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, it's not going to make him monstrous or anything. It's just going to make him slightly better, um, which... I'm glad, you know, I, like I said, I still use him. It'll make it a little easier, but it's not like gonna change him for the better. Um, so in terms of plus 10, I really think even with the plus two on the Resplendent Alt for this, you should go for the plus 10 here because not only does he have all these stats beating Roy's, he also has Mirage Falchion, which no matter, like there's all these conditions right here. He has to like, you know, whatever, all these conditions, I don't really care. Um, the enemy, no matter what happens or when it happens, he's at least getting plus 3 attack and plus 3 defense on this. So, he's basically got 39 and 56. So that just blows Roy out of the water. And they both have dragon effectiveness. So, there you go. In terms of a dragon effective red sword infantry unit, you just can't get better than this for Aether, um, for a regular arena. Um, so I'd suggest investing in him if you're looking for something to invest in. Plus, I mean, look at this. He's got a JoJo stand. How could you not? Like, I wish I could, you know, invest in him, but I've got too many projects to go through right now. So, I mean, at some point I might, but yeah, for now, he's stuck just being here, theoretically the best. Uh, a lot of these units are just kind of, I mean, I, th th this is the only Black Knight I've ever gotten is from the Burger King pack, and he's just kind of sitting here. And, you know, at the time, it was like, oh, he'd be pretty powerful, but, you know, now it's like, whatever, I don't really care. Uh, Reinhardt just pulled him. Like, all of these units are just, like, you just pull them off of random crap. Like, these random, like, obviously I just got this. Uh, these two I got them randomly. That, randomly. Uh, this is my plus one, or plus, oh, plus two, I forgot about that. Plus two, Altina. Took me forever to get, like, a plus one from, like I mentioned, this banner. I pulled this. Spent a, way too many orbs on that. Um, yeah, so, let's see, what, what I, I had res on her. Yeah, so I had res on her because Twin Blades boosts res off of that, boost off of res more, um, defense gets a plus six from this, but her defense is kind of lacking, so, you know, I wish I could boost that up a little bit more, um, repositions just here, because it's the most useful one I find with her, vantage, obviously, using her as a CC vantage, or a DC vantage in this case, is, like, she just, she's a star in, in, uh, Aether Raids, just because if something happens with your main CC vantage user, it's like, oh, there's, like, a weakness on, of your user, you can just kind of replace her with her, or and she's also very useful, like, on her own. Um, so yeah, like, if you see a green heavy team, you just, you know, green heavy teams almost won't exist, though, because Altina, like, you have to keep in mind Altina's gonna be here on this season. Um, and she's just really loaded. So, yeah. Let's see what else I have here. I have a Tabarn. Tabarn's here. I, I, I again, pulled him randomly. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything with him. I know a lot of people I like a lot of people like the um, Gale Force Tabarn setup, which by all means it, it looks fun, and I mean I wish I could, but uh, basically I just holding on to he's just holding on to uh, sturdy impact. I'm gonna follow this off to somebody at some point. Uh, I just don't know who yet. 
Uh, there's too many other A skills that people end up needing. Uh, Southis is defensive uh, mythic unit, plus one just for this and as well as uh, Mjolnir Strike or whatever. Um, but yeah, so she's, she's actually kind of lacking. I feel like putting Kestrel Stance 3 on her might be pretty good. Uh, she basically just does what this does, but without this condition and reduces their special cooldown, which is great. Um, yeah, so I mean that's what I might do. I only had a plus HP and a plus and a, and a neutral one, which kind of sucks. So I just want the plus HP. Ideally, you want like a speed or an attack. She can she can overcap speed. Like you get diminishing returns on speed because once you double, any speed on top of the double is kind of worthless. Uh, but with her. No matter how much speed she has, it's always worthwhile because it either prevents doubles, lets her double, or boosts her, her um, serious special here. Um, so yeah, speed, she can never get enough speed on her. So ideally you want a speed or attack. Um, I, I had this on her just because just to make her more tanky. I uh, use her a lot in, in Mjolnir Strike. Uh, this Athun, I got her again randomly, randomly. I pulled three of this. Because I needed this pulse smoke, and I also just wanted a plus one of her. Um, I use her in Mjolnir Strike because, I mean, look at this. She does insane amounts of damage: 45 speed, 62 attack, life and death four, special spiral. The idea is you go in, you hit somebody, and then after that, this is always charged for no matter when she attacks, she'll always hit this. So in eighth in Mjolnir Strike, they clump up a lot, so. She basically just chunks everybody for a massive amount of damage, and then the other units just clean up after her. Um, but yeah, so that's what that is. So I pulled, yeah, like I said, I pulled three. I needed one for the uh, the pull smoke. Let's see, this is that. As you can see, my barracks is kind of barren of like plus tens, just because I don't have a lot of plus ten projects, and I don't farm a lot of um, feathers, so I'm just. I just plus, I just merge them as they come. Um, I don't go out of my way to farm feathers. I probably should though, now that we've got a lot more uh, merge projects I need to get to. Uh, one of my favorite merge projects, obviously, Aversa. She's always been useful and probably is always going to be useful. Uh, I gave her an Ardeal Flying, just so I could use her in Arena as well. Again, she's not very good in Arena, but you know, like I said, I just kind of had to put whatever I have into that mode at the time. Uh, Defense Res Link, that's for... she's a smite bot, so... Well, I use her in, in, um, in Aether Raid, so... Oftentimes I'll just smite her in there. This needs... I, I really should replace... This is the only Link I had available at the time, but I've gotten a few more, um, Mordecai, so I'm probably gonna give her Attack Defense Link. Um, because you really do want the attack, it's, it's very helpful. Uh, good Flyers, because again, I run on a lot of Flyer Balls, and it's always useful to have the plus four. And HP, so you want as much HP, you want to stack as much HP on her as possible so that her Reverses Knight can get triggered. Uh, but yeah, so basically if you want to be competitive in Aether Raids or basically anything, you, you kind of really want a uh, plus 10 Reversa. She's always going to be useful, though Iago is kind of stepping in on that. I feel like Iago might be better. I, I haven't, you know, obviously he hasn't been out long enough and there hasn't been a whole lot of testing going on with him. I haven't done anything with him. Um, but I think the idea, the fact that like... You're, you as the player have to constantly be switching between people touching and people not touching each other uh, makes him just almost more useful than a Versa um, just because you have to alternate the way you play with a Versa you just have to keep in mind and make sure they don't touch you you know make sure that one unit who doesn't who you don't want to have the panic status isn't touching anybody else and the other ones who cares um, but with Iago it's like you constantly have to be like juggling back and forth between that so that might be that might be better um, but I'm not gonna replace Aversa just because, like I said, flyer balls. I like flying units, and I like Aversa better than Iago just as a baseline. I mean, look at that. It's Aversa. You think Iago has anything on this? Um, but yeah. Da -da -da. Like, partially, I also play. Obviously, I think it's obvious by now, but I also play this as like a waifu collecting game. So you know, so you like to. I prefer my waifus over my husbandos. So. Even if Iago was like 10 times better than the Reza, I'd probably still be using a Versa, unfortunately for me. Um, Camilla, pretty cool. I again randomly pulled her. I don't really use her in anything. Uh, I have a plus three Fjorm just because they, they gave you a bunch of Fjorms and I just randomly pull Fjorms off stuff. Uh, she's not very useful anymore. She was very good at the beginning of the game. Um, 
you know, you're playing PvE and, and just kind of climbing arena and all these things. But once you get to, like, where I am, there's really no mode for her. Um, yeah. Lucina, I, I want to get the plus one. I couldn't, cannot for the life of me find another Lucina. It annoys me, but it is what it is. Um, she, I, I was using her Nathan Raids, but I kind of had to remove her just because you got to make... You have to have the two Aether units, the two um, the two Mythic units on your side. You need to have... I run a lot of uh, CC Vantage stuff. So CC Vantage Sweepers, so there's that's one. So that's three down, and you only have five. Um, you want a Dancer, and then you want the bonus unit. So there's really no room for Lucina unless you get rid of the Dancer, in which case it's going to be a lot harder to play these maps without a Dancer. Um... But yeah, she's excessively useful. Like, you know, I, I just like I said, I wish I could use her on more stuff. Uh, you can see here I used to use her, but now I gotta really min max all these points to get up there. Um, this this weapon, like people like um, Melkorin, but I, I don't think he has anything on on Lucina. Like plus three, Melkorin gives plus five from his weapon, and I think plus yeah plus five on everything on his weapon. But she gives plus three, which is only two less. And a special cooldown charge, which that's invaluable. Like it's just it's too good. Plus, I mean, you can run it with like infantry pulse, and there you go. Like your CC vantage unit is, is golden. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, I need to figure out what to do with her. I, I, I do want to put her back in action. Here's my uh, I used to use this back then. Uh, my bold fighter gale force tank unit. Basically, Hector is the the main one who can pull this off, just because he's got minus one cooldown and uh, quick repost in his weapon already, plus he comes with Bold Fighter and Disencounter built in here with more stats. Uh, you know, he's the man. Like, he just hits the guy twice, hopefully kills him, and then moves on to someone else, and there you go. He can just sit there and tank up. Hopefully you've killed the, the threats on their team by then and just soak up everyone else's hits. Um, but yeah, uh, he's kind of been retired since then. I pulled another one. I don't know if I should merge him in there. I kind of feel like giving Bold Fighter to someone else, but... I don't use a lot of tanks, so yeah, he's just kind of sitting there. There's Effie again, random pulls, random pull, or this was from the uh, Tempest Trial. Oh my gosh, Pala, my pride and joy. I love Pala on my defense team. She's ridiculous. Like, she forces doubles if you have more than three, which on a flyer ball, obviously, that's the point. Um, she reduces their attack and defense by four, making them more vulnerable to her attack and weaker on retaliation because you reduce their attack by four uh, and she makes a fault so it guarantees doubles so you don't have to worry about you can just kind of like you know dumpster stator speed if she's within two or more she attacks twice which basically means with this weapon she forces quads um so i mean what else is there to say she forces quads she's like uh where is she she's like cordy but better because she's got monstrous attack i barely pulled an attack plus one uh so i run her so she runs with the mirror stance she's got mirror stance but i put on let's see why are we here so she's got mirror stance or mirror impact which is it's good but like the deny follow-up attack isn't very useful because most of the time she'll kill people with um like she if she initiates which this is you know this is that's when this is triggering if she initiates she hits twice they attack back, and you hit another two times. So if they hit, af if they survive after those four attacks to follow up, then I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, they're green. They're green unit. It's Irvin Ike basically, and he's gonna kill you no matter what. So I decided to take this off. It, it wasn't really helping her. Uh, I put. Oh shit. No. Uh, I decided to give her IO shield just because. I don't want her like getting hit, uh, sniped so easily. Uh, but ideally, I think, yeah, I don't know. I think uh, maybe sturdy impact would be better. I don't know. I have to think about it. But yeah, so this isn't the best thing to have on her. You might want to keep this on her or, or put something else there. Um, but yeah. So for now, this isn't. This wasn't very useful to me, but uh, I might think about putting putting it back on. I just like having this to make sure she doesn't get like just one shot by literally anything, or like a vantage uh, bow user or something like that. 
because basically that's the, the her biggest nightmare is a vantage bow user because if they hit you back hopefully you've got enough defense to survive it with the flyer ball and you can hit them and then they just die uh with heavy blade there's not a lot of people who can reach 64 attack so heavy blade is going to help you you know beat out most people and so she attacks once and since the the lance lets her attack twice in a row the moon bow is charged by the second hit so if you quad somebody you're hitting them with two moon bows which it's no joke right like most people are just gonna die from that um so that's that i put flyer formation just to make sure she she's got proper positioning between everything uh yeah that's about it i mean she comes with gold flyers already uh wings of mercy i might run wings of mercy instead of flyer formation i'm just kind of testing it out but yeah for now it's flyer formation uh, i didn't stick with this uh i pulled this off of somebody i think when i was inheriting something else uh but yeah so two moon bows in a row it's it's pretty good like I pulled her because I could. Uh, in terms of like better investments, you probably just want to have a plus 10 S. Overall, she's just gonna be a lot better. Um, like I said, you can you can give her that uh, attack speed form or attack defense form that I was talking about earlier. Um, that way, she just always attacks twice. Or I think the best case scenario would be like a sturdy impact, which I might give her sturdy impact. But I, I was kind of on the verge of giving it to her, but then I, I saw Pala and I was like, oh, I kind of want Pala more. Um, but yeah, like, tank effectiveness is no joke, kind of makes the, uh, the follow, the, she attacks twice, uh, makes the second attack kind of worthless, because she usually just one-shots everything. Um, yeah, I've tried a few things, uh, death blow, I think, uh, so I had attack, defense bond, and, uh, flyer formation, obviously, and ward flyers and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, so if you're looking for a replacement to a pala, like, you, you know, Bella's banner's gone, I don't know when she'll come back, or, you know, any time that she's available anytime, basically. Uh, S is a really good replacement, so, yeah. I had Catrio before, she's too, she's not, she doesn't have enough going for her to, like, do anything, basically. Uh, just, she's got a plus one, I just liked her, or a plus two, actually. I just liked her after they got the refine, because she basically, she can quad people now, and with desperation, she literally quads people. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Nyla, wish I could get more of her, but, uh, you know, I only got one. Um, Nisala, don't have a Nisala invested. Don't have a Tiki invested. My Naga's only not even merged. Uh, I got, I got lucky with a plus speed, so she can soak chills off of my CC Vantage unit, and you're like 44 that's not even that much and it's like well you'll you'll see when you see my cc vantage unit she's supposed to be soaking stuff from uh all this stuff is useless all this stuff is just random like i just got this off of stuff brunia brunia is like a future merge project that i want to work on um but for now you know whatever we'll, we'll see um like i have a reinhardt I have enough to plus 10 him, I just don't want to just because I despise Reinhardt and I don't really have a reason. I don't have anything to use him in. I mean, I have I have the units to make a cab line. They're just not merged and they're not invested in and it's not really worth like the time to like go in and change one of my defense teams to a cab line. I really don't care. Uh, I pulled Leggy Arm. I actually went for her. Um, I got baited pretty hard on that banner, but I mean, like it's Leggy Arm. Like there's no way I'm not going to pull for her. Um, it's also very good. Uh, she has, she can double. She has built-in desperation on her weapon, and it's just above fifty percent. Which, I mean, she's always basically going to double, especially with uh, attack swift speed three or uh, swift spiral three. Um, but yeah, like I don't use her very often, but you know, sort of justifying to myself the the orbs I spent on her. Um, I only have one, plus one peony. Obviously, peony is like the premier light mythic unit. Uh, Wings of mercy. I think she came with that. I'm not entirely sure. This uh, B dual flying, uh, this plus seven to res is amazing. Uh, chill speed three. Uh, I just run it just because. You know, what else am I gonna put there? Azra. I wish I could use her in more content. I don't run her on my flyer ball just because I have. She's she got tactics and she doesn't have flyer formation. So I'd have to start investing a whole bunch into her to like get her to that point. I just use her on on basically anything else. Um, but yeah, you know, like I said, she's very powerful. Uh, all this stuff is blah blah blah. This is the free one they gave us. Irvin Ike. If you Irvin Ike is the only thing that like 
that meme with the the heavy like I fear no man but that thing scares me this is this is this is the thing that drives fear into me um, I don't have anything that can counter him on my flyer ball at all like a plus 10 well I mean maybe maybe like this one if someone just has like a distant counter or whatever Ike but like a plus 10 properly invested Ike is ostensibly to my account undefeatable like there's nothing I can do to him um, that I have to, like unless I've set it up beforehand um, but like yeah I don't have any there's no aether raids uh, defense team I can set up to counter Irvin Ike at all um, which kind of kind of sucks the only thing like I, I've been I've done a lot of testing uh, with that like battle calculator or whatever the only thing that could probably kill him is like a twin blades Altina like at a plus you know whatever plus two or you know maybe plus more um, but that's because but you can't really do that either because she'll hit twice and then that's it like this will be charged for next time but Ike will just kill you afterwards you need to find some way to reduce this by one or perhaps like yeah and there's there's no infantry pulse no infantry rush for um flyer teams which you know that kind of sucks so yeah like there's just nothing i can do to counter urban ike so if you've got urban ike just know there's a lot of flyer balls who can't really deal with this maybe life the, the red sword life guy or uh probably i think like the red julia i think i think that's who that is I don't know, there's like a, a mage user. I don't have a lot, a lot of red mages as you, as you saw through my red uh, here that are that I can use. Um, but yeah, my account and probably a lot of accounts, there aren't very many good um, red mages. Like Aversa can't, Aversa can't stop a uh, plus 10 Irvin Ike. Like, but yeah, so if you got an Irvin Ike, you know, I suggest investing in him. I just don't want to just because again, I'm, I'm all for the waifus. Look at this, Rinka. Uh, yeah, I... I Pulled two Rinkas trying to get the Spendthrift Bows off of uh, Midori during their banner. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I, I actually like Rinka. Uh, I, the only thing I don't like is like the abysmal res she has, but you know, everything else is fine. Uh, her club is good. I should have, I probably should have not merged her and saved these Distant Foils. Um, but you know, whatever. Don't really care. But distant Foil is not as, it's not going to be as good as Distant uh, Close Foil. Because close foil, the only thing that's omitted from close foil is going to be dragons, but distant foil, you're miss, you can't, you won't be able to counterattack mage users, and mage users are more common than dragons, especially in aether, aether, uh, aether raids. So, like I said, I invest in that mode, and this isn't really like that big of a loss because I'm not probably not going to invest this. I'm not going to put this on anybody. Um, I'd probably just straight up give them like distant counter, who that's the resplendent guy they gave us. Uh, he's another Hector. Uh, again, just randomly pulled him off of stuff. Uh, Minerva, I do want to put her on my flyer team, but there's just no space for her, and like this res stat is abysmal. Uh, she doesn't really, and she also doesn't really do anything. Like to me, she doesn't do the same thing that Camilla does. But to me, she's competing with Camilla's spot as a green axe user, a green physical axe user. Um, as long as I'm using a, up a green physical axe user space on my flyer team, I'd rather just have it be Camilla. Plus five. I have the feathers to plus 10 her right now, but uh, I'll probably wait off on that. I don't know. Oh, actually, I don't have the units. I can only plus 8 her. Uh, I need two more Camillas. I gotta pull them from somewhere. Um, but yeah, like Camilla's axe, she, get, she gives out plus 3 attack speed and plus 4 from this. So she gives out a lot of stats by herself just sitting there. Um, yeah, this, this is the main reason she's here. She's supportive. Obviously, she doesn't support. But to, like I said, to me, in my mind, they're, they're kind of occupying the same space, and I'd rather just have a support than have a physical tank who might hurt some guys sometimes. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm working on the plus 10 Camilla, and especially considering I'd have to like waste grails on her, which I've already got enough grail projects as it is. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'll have to think about it, basically. Um, yeah. Uh, Nyla, yes, I got the Bride Nyla. I got her when I was pulling for uh, the Colorless Mikaya, so I was pretty happy about that. I, I like Nyla is like my favorite character. I mean, look at this, beautiful, like just beautiful. Um, yeah, so Nyla is my favorite character. If if you ever wonder, that's it. Like my favorite male character is Roy, probably the only male character I, I, I like. Um, but in terms of all female characters ever in Fire Emblem, it's gonna be Nyla. Um, da -da -da. so all this stuff again is all just randomly pulled off of stuff. Uh, Guntra used to be kind of useful. 
Uh, where am I? Oh, look, Ninos. Here we are. So the other Nino, they're both plus defense. That is disgusting. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Well, whatever. Uh, let's see, I got Sanaki off of something. Uh, Mikaya, actually, I pulled her... I should have pulled on the Brave banner she was on. Gotten more merges, but I just pulled one and then moved on. And then later I pulled for her on some like legendary banner. I think she was there. Or some mythic banner, I don't remember. Um, just to get the plus one on her. Again, if you're going to use a unit a lot and everything, common practice is to get at least a plus one. Um... So I got the plus one. Unfortunately, only speed boon, which really either attack or res would have been better. Um, but yeah, like she's she's been very useful. I have her on my defense team mainly because of this. Um, dropping her to by six, make sure they don't touch each other. Uh, da -da -da. This is very useful. This is why I have flyer formation on her so that she can trigger this most of the time. Uh, and then you know, obviously there's that. This is very useful. It's decently useful, but the thing you run her for is to have double coverage on tanks and um, horses. Um, but yeah, uh, Sacrifice is pretty useful. Glimmer, obviously, so you want more overkill damage against tanks or calves. Uh, she's on my defense. I run her with uh, Fortress. Oh, actually, I think she's. I don't have enough SP for that just because it's hard to kill anything with her. Uh, so I run her with these two just to reduce her attack. To 35 so she never attacks even though she still does sometimes because she's an idiot um her attack is kind of was her, her defense was kind of lacking so i was like all right well let's patch up her defense a little bit and just re reduce her attack uh that's that's basically that um you know she's one of the best flyer uh dancers just because she gives everybody hp uh, uh, at the turn during the turn so that's pretty cool um tiki again she's fine um uh, don't have her invested I actually just pulled these two for free off of something I forgot I was summoning on, but I wasn't going for Duma and I just got Duma. Um, Duma's pretty cool because he's got his own built-in um, catapult and he reduces everybody's attack uh, d damage by s HP by 7. Not wholly useful, but it is what it is. Uh, and then Armored Boots, just to have them... I really... I need to put something else here or, or uh, something to Im increase his movement better, like um, Ground Orders or some shit for someone else. Uh, just to have them sneak up on people, like they attack some of your flyers, because everything I run is a flyer, flyer bomb, and he's on that team, even though he's, obviously he's not a flyer. Um, just because he's the only other like anima mythic hero I have, so him and and Mirabilis are gonna be on the same team. Uh, but it'd be nice to have him just like I can't get you can't get rid of uh, Bold Fighter because you kind of need it. Yeah, uh, you kind of need the Bold Fighter, so. The idea, like, if you could have Bold Fighter and Wings of Mercy, it'd be great, because basically have one of your units attack somebody, go, drop down to Wings of Mercy range, and then just have him, like, come down and just, you know, completely obliterate somebody with a double. Um, but unfortunately, like I said, you can't run that. So I, there, there's something there's something here. I can do something with him to make him a lot more useful than what he currently is. But uh, it's something that I have to think, I have to, like, work through it. But yeah, he's here basically just because, like, you know, he gives out plus three attack, and he reduces my lift loss at a plus one, so, you know, it's not bad. I uh, pulled him off of something randomly, don't really care. I use a lot of CC Vantage units. Uh, you could, Maybe you could force him into it, but, like, you want to plus ten them all the time. As you can already see what where my CC Vantage, like, investments are. Um, I got a bunch of these. I don't know why. They just kind of came to me. Uh, you could CC Vantage her. I wouldn't suggest it. She's still kind of squishy. Um, but, yeah. Uh... Lois is pretty good. Louise is pretty good. I think it's Louise. Uh, so here's my... This is my Aether Raids Light CC Vantage unit. Um, anybody who's actually good at this game will tell you this is like the worst possible decision you could have made. But I made it anyway. So here we are. Uh, plus 10. Fully merged. My favorite um, colorless bow user uh, for obvious reasons, I think. Um, plus fly flowers... With Peony, they work great together, um, and light and all that stuff. So, HP, 62 HP, She her attack is a little on the low side. Uh, with Peony, she's at 48 speed, which is pretty decent. Um, her defense is alright, and her res gets plus 4, so she's at 37. So, that's what she looks like. Um, this is like my main unit. This, is, this unit got me into... Um, 
Aether Raids tier 27, um, and she gets me there pretty uh, pretty consistently. So this is this is you know, it's just a uh, it's more to, it was more to prove to me that I could do it, right? With with a what's considered quote unquote unsop unoptimal unit or a suboptimal unit. Um, so yeah, she's not she's not the best. She isn't very good, but. I didn't care. I was like, I'm gonna do this with her, and I did it. So I'm, I'm pretty proud of that accomplishment. Uh, happy that you know it's po it was possible, and you know, there you go. Um, I, I never regret anything. I've any investment I put into her, I will not. I do not regret a single bit of it. So let's let's go through what I've what I've got on her. As you can see, like I, when I showed Roy, I've had her for quite a while, and I've been working a bunch of like just just about just about everything I could try on her. She's got all kinds of all kinds of skills that I was thinking about running on her. Um, but this is what I ended up on. So Spendthrift Bow obviously came out and it was probably the most broken bow we've ever gotten. Um, plus 7 attack, which there you go. Basically fixed up what I was asking for um, from Loki herself. Like, she didn't have enough attack to be effective enough as a CC vantage unit. Uh, inflicts minus 7 attack on the foe during combat, which basically boosts her, her defense and res by 7. Making her infinitely more tanky. So there you go. That's another boost. Uh, inflict special cooldown plus two. So this isn't so bad because I run her on noontime, which means that they'll attack her. Noontime's down to one. She'll attack back. Noontime's down to zero. And then on her double, because you know theoretically she should double, given she has 48 speed plus whatever other boosts happen to be there. Um, she'll hit the noontime, and there you go. You'll be you'll be right as rain. Um, that's, you know, in theory anyway. So the fact that it's plus two cooldown isn't such a big deal, but sometimes, it, it, you know, she should just one-shot a guy and it's not that big a deal either. So either she one shot somebody and it's not that big a deal, or, you know, she doesn't and she gets the noon time off, so there you go. Um, like I, so like I said earlier, close foil is infinitely more useful than um, distant foil, just because the only thing you're, you're not going to be countering is going to be um, dragons, and there aren't a lot of dragons on Aether Raids, and if they are, there's usually like one or two, and you can just use Loki, move her in position, snipe that dragon, and then everybody else just kind of barrels into you and they die. Um, so yeah, the only thing, like she's she gets four from, from uh, air, so she's at 37, so her defense is lacking a little bit, but she gets five from this, so they kind of even each other out. Uh, it grants attack plus five, so again, Plus seven and plus five attack gives her twelve, so she's basically at sixty-two when she gets hit. So that's that's there you go. That's what saved her. Um, vantage, obviously, you gotta run vantage. Defense smoke just to do more damage to everybody, and then IO shield is the other reason I really like this. Um, she basically has no weaknesses with IO shield. She has all the advantages of a flyer with no weaknesses. Unfortunately, this does mean you can't run something like a Brazen or like a Fear Stance or something like that. Which is obviously where a lot of her damage is going. But I don't know, I I really value the flying mobility as uh, from a CC Vantage unit. Perhaps you get into, you know, obstacles and move over things so that you can just get into position to snipe critical units and then have everybody else just barrel into her and die. Um, like I said, uh, what, so what I was running before, I obviously tried this. <coughs> Sorry, my throat's a little dry. I obviously tried running her slay with a slaying bow. Um, wasn't too useful. I just wanted to up her survive like this upped her survivability because noontime came up a lot more. But she had a harder time killing, so people just killed her because they wouldn't die from attack. So that was kind of something you had to like get over. Um, this was way early when I was just oh let's just make her a tank, and then I started um, moving more towards like a CC vantage, just like sweeper. Um, and obviously I, I, I landed on this, I gave her the, the speed boost just cause you get two speed rather than like one attack and one attack is like what am I, what's that gonna do? Um, Hamaya was when I was running around a flyer ball and I just like you know, give out everybody plus two defense res, it's nothing too bad. Uh, Beguiling Bow is what she comes with, I tried using Beguiling Bow but uh, I, I didn't like having to wait on like oh do they have 100% like Assuming they'll always have that, but then uh, Candle Wax Bow came out anyway It gave me plus three to everything as well as putting me into um, vantage range sometimes 
with the uh, with the self damage. So that's kind of where that lands. Um, defense here. So she's got a bunch of stuff. She's got a bunch of um, helpful things here. Uh, noontime. You could go with Moonbow if you if you're confident that like she just like one shot everything back, like Vantage one shot everything. But that's something left a little more towards um, like Cronia is something you want to rely on that for, which I'll I'll show my Cronia right now. This was a while ago when I first got her. It was just like I'll just give her Fury and a bunch of other stuff. This is inherited with some other skills. Uh, I had see so you can it was kind of a waste, but like I said, I don't really care. Um, Loki's like my one of my favorite units, so. Gave her close counter and then switched over to close foil and that's made all the difference. I uh, gave her heavy blade. It came with somebody. Somebody was, I was like, I just won't waste the heavy blade. I'll, I'll inherit that too. I forgot who had it though. Um, Vantage obviously and did she come? Yeah, again, this is like some of the stuff is just like I was inheriting something and then just kind of came with that stuff. But this is pretty good too. Um, in the future when there's more colorless, um, like people, if people are running more. Um, like skills that give you advantage towards uh, colorless, you can start running something like this. You lose the vantage, sure, but like at least you're not gonna get just shattered when somebody hits you. Um, flyer formation, I think she comes with it. Yeah, she comes with it, and I can't use her. I can't grail. I can't use grails to get her um, to fodder off flyer formation anymore because she's like 500 grails now, and it's like a waste. Which is why you saw earlier I had to give up the. Um, those divine codes for or for the uh, the what was her name Leanne uh, Gold Flyers I still like I, like you saw earlier I use on the Flyer Ball uh, Attack Smoke for survivability but Defense Smoke was the way to go just for killing people so yeah that's my plus ten she got me all the way up to tier twenty seven I'm super happy with her and I'm glad I I, uh, I went through the trouble of doing that obviously she's summoner supported as well. Here's another merge project, uh, plus three right now. I've got three extra copies, so she'll be a plus six as soon as I get around to like deciding that I want to um, boost them. So basically, uh, I just gave her a Tamari dagger, so she's a dancer with the debuffs. Um, and that's it, you know. Um, there really isn't too much to her. Uh, Wings of Mercy, Fortress Res, just to make sure that uh, she hits everybody with 48 res. I think uh, no one will, you know. No one will not get hit by her. Uh, and then since I have, she's a dancer, she or she's a she's an infantry. In Astra, you've got two flying units, and in Astra, my um, my CC vantage unit is almost always going to be an inf infantry unit, which means the the fifth unit, as long as it's not infantry, she'll get the uh, attack tactic off, which is pretty good. So yeah, that's that. Um, probably give her like a miracle here or something, or, or no, actually Glacies would be good. Um, just cause she has such high res stat now. Uh, now this is this this is my uh, Astra season um, CC vantage unit. Uh, she's about as bad a decision you can make for a CC vantage unit as Loki, but I didn't really care. I just wanted to have her. What really drew me to her was her da was her dagger, uh, Felicia's plate. She has effective damage against anybody. Um, unless they have like sparkling boost or something. Unfortunately, this is probably the best dagger in the game, but like it's on like the worst unit it could have been on because Felicia is just like just she's just horrible. Like look at these like these stats are just horrendous for this. Um, so yeah, like I have a plus nine. I, I this is all I've gotten. I, I'm desperate for like the last one, and it just never gives it gives her to me, which is antagonizing but whatever um so this is this is what i'm running on her uh this plate mainly i think what i'm gonna do is when as soon as um broadly fan comes back on summer lilina i'm just gonna put it on her um which should solve all my problems uh and then you know basically she'll be successful i think also she's probably one of the better units to be running something like broadly fan on like every, like she's horrible given how weak she is, how little damage she does. Like even with this dagger, it doesn't really matter if you're hitting their weaker stat, considering everybody's weaker stats are like around thirty anyway. There's so many units that are um, have mixed bulk that she's not as useful anymore. Like there aren't too many units that are just like, oh, this is a physically tanky unit. This is a um, 
uh, magic tank unit. They're all just so mixed statted that like she loses she loses so much effectiveness. It's not even funny. Um, but I think with broadly fan like it doesn't give you true damage, but it essentially gives you more damage than you could ask for. And she'll be one shotting people super easily as soon as you get uh, broadly fan. So I think she's one of the better carriers of Broadly Fan just because Broadly Fan will do most of the damage for you. Like you'll kill people regardless of your, you know, your attack stat. So now, given that her attack stat is the lowest she has, she has 45 speed. I think she just stays at 45. 28 defense and 43 res. She's got a good stat line for having a broadleaf fan given that she's tanking all these other aspects now you give her uh, an astra season she gets plus five here so this goes up to 33 and you run with attack brazen attack defense it's 40 it's 40 and 43 essentially um and then she gets three more attacks so she's at 50 from all tina and 70s uh 50 57 there we go um so basically i really like her stat line for a broadleaf fan user, like you could use someone like Kagero or or Matthew or something like that as a broadleaf fan user, but I think they're they're losing too much defense and res for their attack stat because they're supposed to you're supposed to use your attack stat when you're attacking obviously, but broadleaf fan kind of makes that irrelevant. It doesn't really matter how much attack you have. Most of the time you're just gonna one shot everybody because how many debuffs you can just like stack on everyone. So that's sort of um, that's sort of why I really like. That's part of the reason I really like her. Um, she has low attack stat, which, you know, Broadly Fan kind of ignores because Broadly Fan does all the work anyway, right? And she has great speed, great uh, defense, and, well, not great defense, but uh, you can patch it up with, like, things like this or, you know, uh, blessings. Uh, and then she's got great res, which res is a very useful uh, stat when you're doing uh, Aether Rage just because there's so many um, magical threats on that end. Though you don't, you, though you don't really want to be tanking any, uh, though you don't really want to be tanking any um, like res hitters. Like, I mean, you're not gonna sit there and just tank a a Reinhardt just because it's like, oh, she's got a huge res stat. It's like, no matter what, you're really want doing that. But if you end up having to be in that situation, um, res is very useful. Um, but yeah, so that's my. This is my uh, Felicia. She. Reduces attack, uh, defense, res by seven. So no matter which one she reduces, she reduces both of them, and then she just hits the weakest one after they've been reduced. So that's pretty good. Uh, noon time for health, uh, close counter obviously for obvious reasons. Close foil might be pretty good on her, just to again add more to help patch up her defense. But I really want to make sure she can just survive. Uh, she can hit back everybody rather than like missing dragons. Um, even though dragons, j just because like dragons. You get effectiveness using Naga, so, you know, whatever. Uh, Pulse Smoke, Pulse Smoke 3, um, just useful for, like, fighting against IP teams. Um, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's her. I probably, I might replace this. Might give her, like, maybe you replace this, but give her, like, a attack smoke or a speed smoke or something here and then maybe you know run all four smokes basically so that you're at minus seven to all stats um but i don't know yeah i'll have to wait till i get broadly fan uh kagero was originally my other like it was between her her and her so i ended up just saying no to her and then yes to both of these two um so as you can see this is not your average uh cc uh cronia build because i don't have an extra cc and i don't have the special spiral which basically make up uh, Cronio. So, uh, I'm missing the plus 10 here. Uh, I'm waiting for her to come back at some point. I don't know if she will. Um, I think she already did. I think I might have missed it or something. I don't remember. Um, but a plus 8, she's not so bad. Um, just that everything here, like this, you want to keep these on her just to trigger her weapon. Like, she's a monster as an a as a cc vantage unit just because this gives her so much damage and speed um and she gets free counters with special spiral here so she's always glimmering everybody so yep in terms of cc vantage in terms of like one shotting off the vantage she's probably going to be like the best one people like felicia and uh Boki, a lot of times are like you can get the one shot back but sometimes you have to double them to get the kill 
um, where she almost never has to worry about that because she's dropped them by 14. And if you're running a dancer and you're positioning things right, she basically drops everybody by 28. And then they try to attack her, she just vantages them. And, you know, 28's nothing to sneeze at. Uh, I was investing in CC at the beginning of the game. Uh, you can see here, like, she's got Barb Shuriken, Goody Boot was boosted for a while. Uh, I gave her uh, Aether for more survivability. I went with Barb Shuriken just to make the Aether a two cooldown special, a four cooldown special. She's obviously got the close counter. I gave her, I think, I'm not sure if she came with this, but she's got Spallen Shield at some point. I gave it to her. Um... Bold Fighter and Vengeful Fighter were both given to her, just because she's actually pretty useful with both of them. Uh, if you're if you're on if you're using her uh, on player phase for something, Bold Fighter is very good because you're basically just gonna kill one guy and then you know move on from there. Um, but if you're like you can use her as like a just sit there and just tank hits, then Vengeful Fighter is obviously very useful too. So you can use her in two different ways thanks to Bold Fighter and um, Vengeful Fighter. I gave her Attack Smoke just to have her survivability because. The biggest problem she has is she just dies all the time. Like, she has these stats. I'm not even talking, like, obviously, armor effective units will kill her. But even non-armor effective units, just they just shit all over her. I don't know why. So, attack smoke, hopefully give her more survivability. And then sturdy stance for 40 and 40. So, basically, she's 40 and 40. And then 55 here. Um, but, yeah. So, I kind of stopped investing in her in a while. Just because, for one, uh, armor mobility is, like, a really big problem. And you don't really want her to be a CC Vantage unit if, like, that's one of your bigger problems. Um, ideally, you can run her on uh, Bold Fighter and then Quick Repost down here. And that's fine, too. Um, and, I, and I've done that before. But I just kind of left it with this. Just because I like to just leave her. Like, especially on certain maps, it's just good to just leave her there and soak up hits. And then basically... Uh, destroy everybody But yeah, uh, she's obviously plus five only um, I might continue investing in her later, but yeah for right now. I've got um, I Got other things to like invest in so you know My air is not plus ten <clears throat> Which you kind of want for aether raids to make it sort of easier so you get more um, per attack But you kind of play with the hands you're, you play with the hand you're dealt uh, Air is very good for light season um, oh wait, she's good at soaking, um, attack chills as well as the, uh, attack plus speed chill, whichever, whatever you want to call that. Uh, I gave her life and death just because she sa it, it sacks her, uh, defense res, but her defense res are not important just cause it's like, I mean, she might be able to tank, um, like a res hit every now and then, but she's got such low HP and she can't get, uh, blessed that... She's just gonna die. So basically, my goal with her is just to one-shot somebody if I can. Uh, Mystic boost, sparkling boost is here to uh, help like whoever your your CC vantage unit is at the time. So like her, it'll give her more HP. It's not that big a deal. Like that sparkling boost, yeah. It's, not that, it's like sparkling boost might kill her because like she has to CC vantage them. Um, and if you if you boost her HP above the, the vantage range, like she might not vantage and she'll just die. Um, but she these she's more designed to like vantage sometimes. Most of the time she's gonna get a hit and then sort of survive and then hit back again. Um, and you know having her give more HP is not gonna be the worst. Um, and then you know again death blow just to make it so that she can one shot people easier. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is just a plus one from what we got. Uh, she's a pretty decent investment, I'd, I'd say. I mean, you could make her like a CC Vantage unit, uh, put her on Astra, and then boost her defense a little bit and her attack. I don't know if I'd suggest it, but I mean, it's possible. Acris says you can, so defer you to him on that. Um, I really should have got the plus one on this, but I, I didn't have the orbs to summon anymore, and I had to save up because this banner was coming. Uh, so I was like, oh, well, whatever. I'll just like fuck it um but yeah she's basically just another Mikaya. dual effectiveness is great uh if she has a bonus she gets this stuff here let's see this this is useful as always uh so this drops you by five and this heals you by six so you basically heal one constantly uh i probably I don't have anything invested in her just because like 
the, the only thing the only reason you, you take her is for this this is ridiculous this is on another level and you know she basically just makes it so that any unit you want can one shot everybody I'm using her in Astra season this this season it's making her like just godlike like it's ridiculous like it's it's what makes me think that you know just having a broadleaf fan will fix all of Felicia's problems um but yeah so so that's that uh Mikaya pulled for her all these are just randomly pulls I think you get one for free and I think I got one off of something um I invested a uh, close counter on her this was at the beginning of the game when I just had one and I just gave it to her just because I used it like I used her in everything and I still kind of use her here and there um but yeah uh then Camilla <clears throat> I I pulled two Camillas trying to pull the green Micaiah, which which is a pretty annoying um but yeah so this is what I have uh she's decent I used to have her on the flyer ball to help heal as well as like annoy people with her gravity staff but she, she's just not she needs flyer formation first of all to give her better range to hit people and then just get moved out of the way later um and secondly she just doesn't do enough damage like no one gets like she gets she hits people and they just kind of sit there and tank it and not worry about it and then nobody's like touching each other to get hit by the gravity effect anyway um so yeah those are all my investments. Those are everything I've, I've worked on, except for that last one, Norn. So Norns are the plus six. I haven't pulled enough Norns. Uh, I'm saving feathers. You saw I had a hundred thousand feathers. I'm kind of saving feathers for her last uh, four, and then the, the last merge on Felicia. But yeah, so gave her the Spendthrift bow to reposition Noontime, uh, close foil, vantage, uh, defense smoke, and fierce dance. Basically, she's a um, alternative to Loki. Uh, she's gonna have higher attack by the end of this. I think 54 to plus 10. I think that's what she has. Uh, basically, she'll be Loki with better stats um, and not the flyer mobility. So the person you should have invested instead of Loki is right here. This is her. Uh, some people, uh, Acarus went with Jomk. Some other people probably went with Jomk too, and and a whole host of other um, bow users. Um, but I just went with Loki, and then by the time I finished maxing Loki out, Norn came out, and I was like, oh, well, there you go. There's there's the option I could have gone with back then, um, but I went with Loki, and I'm going with her now, too, anyway. Uh, Loki gets the job done, but sometimes you want variety, right? So I, you know, I was just like, let's just pull, let's just build a second CC Vantage uh, Archer and, and, and go from there. <clears throat> um, but yeah, as you can see, she's basically a clone. Uh, she basically... <laughs> Like I said, she's better stats, and I get the advantage of being able to run like a Fierce Dancer or a Brazen or whatever I want to put on here. Um, but yeah, so just see how the other half lives, you know what I mean? This is, like in terms of CC Vantage um, bow users, she's better than basically anything that can be for her, I think, anyway. Um, but yeah, so that's what that is. Uh, but yeah, like... Like I said, this might go on S. Like this would be pretty good to put on S if you if any of you pull her. I don't. This is sort of like a random thing. Um, hey, she can get plus seven, which is pretty good because death blow gives her six, and it doesn't give her defense, which she kind of needs because she has she has a weird stat spread. I don't know why she's got a lot of she's got a lot of res, but like very low defense. Um, but yeah, so that's it. That, that's basically all I want. Oh, and then I guess I'll just talk about. Which is already like an hour long. Um, I'll just talk about it real quick. Hopefully the Epic 7 one doesn't go this long. Uh, I'll talk about my um, defenses here. Now, as you can see here, she doesn't have flyer formation. She does have this though. That's just pretty cool. And she's not have the plus one or the attack boon. Uh, this was built a while ago and I've been investing in stuff here and there. So plus five. I have a plus five even though it says plus three here. These are locked in. Uh, because there's a, there's a lot of skills, like especially like this, right? The uh, the animal blessing. I don't want to have to keep like switching back and forth every season, so like I just lock them in like that. So I'm gonna unlock them probably around the time I get a plus ten Camilla, um, and by the time I decide what I want, either Wings of Mercy or Flyer Formation on her, and then maybe replace her with someone else. And then obviously when I finish maxing out my um, Mirabilis, I'm gonna have her here instead of um, Leanne. And then, you know, just kind of move around. With her presence here, it's kind of disrupted some of what's going on here, so I need to, like, reassess this. But basically, it's going to have... It's going to be the same thing as, as this. Um, she's probably going to stay. She's going to stay. I don't think she's going to stay. Obviously, he's going to be here. 
she might not stay and she might not stay. So her, her, and him, and then Mirabilis is going to be here and then I'll have to figure out what's going on with this. Um, but yeah, so these units are like, this is as best as I could at the time and I just kind of left them. <sighs> no, stop clicking stuff. This is the best they were at the time. This is like, I just kind of left them here. They've been doing decently, but uh, I wish they could do better is basically my point there. If I can close this. Sorry, I clicked something there and something came out. Um, this can do better. Uh, like, obviously her lack of mobility here means that she can't basically nuke anybody. Like, so if someone stands here, she'll move here and then hit him. Like, if I had, like, ground orders on her, he could come out here and then just, like, smack him. And she could move right here and then hit them too. So this is not a space you want to be on. Like, it doesn't really matter how tanky you are. If you're here and he hits you and she hits you, you're going to die. Unless you're Irvin Ike, then you probably survive that. But, you know, otherwise that. Um, and then if they land here, it's obviously easy because she'll hit him and then he'll walk here and hit him. And then, like, she'll come over here and hit him and then she'll hit him. And then, everybody, like, just everybody beats on this spot here. So that spot is obviously, like, you don't want to, that's the kill box. But here you have a decent chance of surviving just because she probably won't kill you and then um, she can't reach and she just sits here and then he obviously is just going to not go anywhere. The only the only saving grace is that maybe like she'll move here and then you know you can get this to move her here. But that doesn't always happen because the AI is kind of stupid. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of, you know, this will this will change but this is my defense here. Um, been here, what's this, 8 times, 1 through 6,000, top 6,000 and then... Um, 20 times I've been in here for top um, 10,000. Um, so this is this is this this is my uh, anima season defense. My what's the other one? This one is even worse because she still has this. She doesn't have the uh, whatever. Um, and I just like it's just a clusterfuck here because I don't really know what I'm doing here with this one. This one's a little harder specifically because she's not going to kill anything as assuredly as. Um, Duma is, and she gives out res, which isn't too useful. And I don't have another um, dark mythic unit, so I'm only doing half. I'm only half as effective here. Uh, I'll probably replace her with Yoon if I get her, and then this will be pretty solid. And then you know, move things around again, like I did, like I was talking about last time. Um, but for now, this is definitely my weaker team, just because like it's got less updates than the other one. Like her, if a mage hits her. If a dragon comes and hits her in the face, she's just gonna die. Um, which is why I put close counter, like over here she has close counter, just cause in case like a dragon hits her, then it's okay. Um, but yeah, so this one's gonna take a lot more tinkering and, and more time to figure out what the hell's going on. Um, ideally, the thing I'm pretty afraid of, the thing I think most people, most of us need to have in the back of our minds when we're building like an AR defense is like CC Vantage units. Uh, and Kronia, given that she's free and she's probably one of the best to do it you really want to make sure you got this uh, healing tower uh, protected decently well so I've have so I have this here and then this here in case they want to step so if they step here if they step here yeah whatever uh, I mean maybe you can do this but I kind of like this having having this here because then if they if anyone kind of step here they get kind of stuck here uh, and then trying to get rid of this hurts them and just hurts that one like I said this isn't really this isn't what's going on right now. This is just kind of me trying to figure out what's going on. I'll have to unlock this and, and do all that stuff later. Uh, but yeah. This is, like I mentioned last time, I like I have units to make a cab line, and this is the cab line I could make. Is this, the, you know, I haven't spent time testing it or like, oh, what's the best formation or who are the, like, the absolute nitpicky like cab units to use? I haven't like looked into this. So I just was like, ah, well, you know, obviously Reinhardt, I mean, no matter what, Reinhardt's going to be on a cab line. I really, doesn't really matter what you say. She's probably going to be on a cab line. Again, doesn't really matter what you're going to tell me there. Um, you could probably replace her with something, but I think she'd be pretty good. Obviously not in this state, maybe like a Sakeo's Blessing here, and then maybe leave that there and another Swift Sparrow or something. Um, she's pretty tanky, but I don't know if she, you know, if she's optimal. Um, you just want dual, so you want... To cover magic here, cover magic, and then have that same spot covered by physical, and you know, again, physical. Uh, maybe like that. That way, if there's a flyer here, you can hit her with that one, and then magical there. Um, yeah, like I can make a flyer, uh, uh, um, sorry, a, ca a cav line, but 
I just can't be asked. I really don't like Kavlan, and I don't like any of the Cav units. Like, I like Lin. I like uh, Guntra. Don't really care about Louise. I would say I kind of like Azura, and I like Veronica, but, you know. I don't like this setup. It's just very boring and very, like, you only care about winning rather than, like, making an interesting team is what kind of bothers me about it. Which, I do care about winning to some degree, but I also, like, as you can see by my... Um, Aether Raids investments, like I chose Loki, right? If I cared about winning, I probably would have chosen someone else, but I care about interesting things. And just because Loki's waifu, and basically that was the main reason I chose her, doesn't mean she's not interesting. She's, you know, she's interesting in her own way. Interesting challenges, interesting movement, interesting uh, things you have to patch around. So, but yeah. This is what I used to run. It used to look like this. Um, as you can see, this is not a very good team. Um, people just get sniped left and right, and it's just it's just battle roll. Um, I just kind of left it there, just because I was like, oh, let's start over. And this was like, I don't remember what this was. I was just kind of like, oh, well, what if I just put all my favorite units, and I just put them here, and I just did whatever, and that was that. Uh, double Roy's, obviously. Uh, I was gonna, She's tanky, so I was like, oh, I'll just put it here, see if she can tank stuff up. But I never actually used this. I don't know why I put that there. Um, I was just theory crafting, I guess, and just kind of left it half-assed. Uh, but yeah, this is my current defense. I might start like a series where I go through and I kind of like, you know, show my Aether Raids stuff. Um, but as of now, you know, this is all you get. Just that's what my Aether defense looks like. These are like some successes, more failures though. Fortunately, my failures have been caught by the uh, lift loss control. So I, I got a success here, but I failed here and the lift loss control got me cover there which is funny because that usually goes the opposite way i think for all of us it's usually the opposite it's like lift loss control will activate when you have a success or something well it doesn't activate when you have a success but it probably activates when it's like you defeated three foes like this lift loss control and it's like you couldn't have activated it in this one where i lost more lift but yeah um yeah i guess that's basically it i mean it's my whole you my account uh this season, Mikaya is making things really easy uh, on offense. I think I've had perfect offense the whole time. I'm not entirely sure. You could probably like calculate it back from this and, and figure it out, but I didn't really feel like doing that. Um, but yeah, so that's that. That's my account.